Get my cutter, get my torch Pour a beverage and I step out on the porch Grab a cigar, I love that view I guess it's time for another Poolside Cigar Review <laughs> Hey there everybody, welcome back to another edition of Poolside Cigar Reviews with Kirk Today I am going to be smoking the Illusione Holy Lance. This is a seven and a half by forty. Uh, I guess you call it a Lancero. It's kind of a little bit thicker Lancero, but that's still you know Lancero dimensions. This is the uh, the Maduro. It's got the San Andres Mexican wrapper, uh, Nicaraguan binder and filler. Got a good looking pigtail cap on there, which is pretty traditional for Lancero. Um, Um, kind of broke a piece of the uh, pigtail off in my mouth. Um, I had this in my humidor, I want to say a year maybe. I don't really know. Fairly tight draw. A piece of the shoulder there. Sweet. You know, just that traditional tobacco sweetness that I always get off of unlit cigars. You know, today, it seems like for the first time in a while, I'm actually smoking a cigar that I bought and paid for. You know, traditionally, I've reviewed almost nothing on this channel but stuff that I buy myself, but as of late, i got a few people sending me things, and you know, I haven't really been doing that many reviews the last couple months. So it seems like, you know, I, I tend to put stuff that companies send into the front of the line but honestly I prefer reviewing what you know I buy myself so it's kind of nice you know sometimes it feels like homework you know to reveal to review cigars that people send you not complaining um, but there's less pressure I guess Very deep, very full flavor off the first light. A very deep, dark tobacco. Some sweetness, a lot of complexity. Not as spicy as I remember. I've smoked a couple of these before. Maybe it's the age. I'll know. I'll see as it goes along. It's like a really, really dark cocoa is what I'm getting. There's a tiny bit of like, a little bit of like a cayenne pepper spice at the end, but not much. Mostly a dark, really dark cocoa and deep tobacco. Smooth on the, you know, that was actually pretty smooth in the retro hill. That's that's a great first light. Mm. Those are all flavors that I like. A little bit of earth coming in. Awesome. It's also been a while since I reviewed a Lancero, so excited to do that. I'm gonna smoke on this a while. I'm gonna pick something to pair with it, although I think I already know what I'm gonna grab. So um, hang out, guys, and I will see you in a little bit. Let you know what this uh, Holy Lance brings us. Hang out. Okay, it's about 40 minutes in now. It's been a great cigar. Um, not a lot of transitions. A little bit of earthiness has come in. It's definitely earthier than when it started. Uh, so I would still call this full body. Right now I'm pairing it with a, kind of a special whiskey. This is from um, a distillery here in Tucson called Hamilton Distillers. Uh, it's called Whiskey Del Bach. And this is their, it's kind of like a uh, single malt scotch style. It's not scotch because it's not from Scotland. But I believe it is, um, uh, you know, all malted barley, all from the one distillery. Um, <clears throat> what's special about this? really good with the cigar, especially this cigar. Um, 
What's special about this is that, you know, a lot of scotches are peated where they use peat smoke to dry the barley and it imparts that smoky flavor to the scotch. Something very similar happened here, but this is um, mesquite smoked. So this has got a lot of mesquite flavor in it. So it's kind of like a nice, sweet, kind of a barbecue. We know if you're familiar with that, but it's still, you can still get that, that grain note coming through. You still get some vanilla notes. Um, the spirits, um, actually for as young as this is, I don't know the actual age of this, but it can't be that old because the distillery's not that old. Um, I don't know if they use small barrels, but um, you know, it's got a good balance with the spirit. The spirit's not, you know, too bright. It's got a good oily mouthfeel. Very nicely balanced. And when you put that mesquite smoke up against um, a nice full-bodied cigar, just a killer pairing. A little bit spicier through the nose now, so I'll come back a little later, and uh, I will. I just come back at the end unless there's a major transition, but uh, but right now I'm digging it, and uh, definitely drink local, guys. This is I didn't actually buy a bottle of this. I need to buy a bottle of this, um, but a buddy of mine, David, uh, brought me a, a little sample bottle so that I could try it. Very good stuff. So next time I see a bottle in the store, I'll be picking one up. But uh, hang out, guys, and I'll be back with my final thoughts on the Illusione Holy Lance. Hang out. Okay. It's about an hour and ten minutes in now. And uh, starting to get a little warm. Overall, really enjoyed the cigar. Wasn't terribly dynamic. Not a lot of transitions. Um, but... You know, if you like earth, if you like dark chocolate, if you like tobacco, a little bit of spice, and you like really full-bodied cigars, you're gonna love this. Um, no, it is Lancero. I, I think the ash dropped on me about every half to three quarter of an inch. You know, I think only one time that I actually knocked the ash off, and I should have just. That's not the fault of a Lancero. That's just how Lanceros are. And I should know better by now and knock the ash off instead of letting it fall on my shirt. But, um, you know, that happens. Uh, overall, great construction. No relights, no touch-ups, which is also pretty common with uh, Lanceros. Although Lanceros can be finicky. Um, you know, I've talked about it in other videos. You do have to make sure that you puff on a Lancero because it will go out faster because it's got a smaller cherry. Um, and occasionally Lanceros will be plugged, although... <clears throat> Not this one. Um, you know, Illusione makes really great cigars. I don't think, I haven't smoked a ton of Illusione, but I smoked a good bit. Um, now this isn't as peppery as like the Illusione 66. Like that's a pepper bomb. This isn't a pepper bomb. Uh, if you like that Mexican San Andres flavor, this is right up your alley because it's a San Andres Lancero. And you just, you get a lot of that wrapper flavor. So for me personally, great cigar totally recommend it I bought this at uh, Jerry cigars in Tucson I think I paid about 10 bucks somewhere in that range and uh, you know for an hour and 10 minutes Lancero great experience you know no complaints definitely recommend giving it a try and then this uh, this whiskey del Bach really like it um, you know they got a, they've got a couple different uh, whiskeys I think this is like their their main blend but uh, I would guess, and I just finished it, um, I'm sure the information is available, but I didn't look it up. I would guess this was actually from a virgin oak cask, because it had a lot, it had some of that vanilla note to it, which is really nice with the mesquite, and it also, it had just a hair of that like soapy bourbon type flavor um, that I think you get from virgin oak, which would also explain, you know, with, with less age, you know, that it could do more. Um, you know, when you get scotch whiskey, it's, you know, second and third fill casks, sometimes more, depending on the distillery. Um, usually ex bourbon or ex, you know, some kind of sherry um, with the scotch. But I'm going to guess, this tasted to me like it was from a virgin oak cask. But together, they worked great. This cigar would pair well with bourbon. I think it would pair really well with the red wine. Um, you know, something uh, bigger like a Cabernet or, or a Malbec. But a great cigar. Plenty of smoke. 
really no complaints at all. So if you like full bodied cigars, give the Illusione Holy Lance a try. It's kind of a, it's, it's really at this point, kind of a classic. Um, you know, it's, it's been out for, I don't know, five years, maybe more. Um, you know, I, I don't, I don't pay attention to a lot of that in the cigar news. So correct me if I'm wrong, could be wrong, but I think it's been about five or six years that it's been out. Um, and it's a great cigar, and they, they make it in a Candela. I've had the Candela. It's actually my favorite Candela cigar, the Holy Lance. Uh, they make it in a natural. I don't know if I've had the natural. But um, but the Maduro's great, and the Candela is uh, definitely interesting if you're uh, looking for a Candela. But I didn't review that today, just this. So, you know, as always, I appreciate you guys stopping by. It's a beautiful day here in southern Arizona. And I uh, appreciate you taking the time to hang out with me and enjoy this Holy Lance. And I hope you can get one for yourself soon. And until next time, you know, as always, keep your feet in the pool, a drink in your hand, and a cigar in your mouth. Take care, everybody.